The platform is not an echo chamber and it never will be, but it will be respectful. So that's why she's able to speak. Oma Wale, what do you have to say? I appreciate that. Yeah, what up, Court? Um, hey. As, as always, I, I appreciate you using your, your platform for the really difficult conversations. Um, I think that everything that we're hearing is definitely evidence of the conversation that we're supposed to be having tonight, right? Are, are our preferences uh, rooted in racism or are our preference racist? I think that's how you asked it. Mm -hmm. um, and if you go back to the beginning of the conversation, um, when we made mention to uh, there being a lot of trauma, right? Uh, Self-hate is a manifestation uh, of that trauma. You know, a lot of our people who um, are hurt based upon their experiences uh, with the community have not healed. Uh, and the way that we see that manifest yeah. often is in uh, disfigurement. So, you know, if you don't like yourself or you don't like certain traits about yourself, you know, you'll see our people uh, bleaching their skin, uh, doing things to relax their hair, uh, to disfigure, you know, certain traits. So if, you know, your nose or your, you know, your lips or whatever have, you know, African or black features and you don't like yourself, like these are things that we try uh, uh, to change. But if you don't do the actual work to heal yourself, it's never going to be the folks in your community um, who suffer right from your pain, right? They say, what you eat don't make me shit. So it's a situation where if you're healed and you're truly not miserable, um, and I see this with a lot of people who refer to themselves as divestors, uh, they say that they divest, but they never leave, right? It's more of a like nanny nanny boo boo, like I'm leaving the community. And it's like, everybody is still like, Okay, you've left, but like, why are you still here talking to us? Not, well, not, 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 not you, not you in particular. It's just in general. Like, I feel like it's like that, that evangelical spirit, right? Misery loves company, so you don't want to leave and be by yourself. So you want to recruit others to join you because if you were truly healed um, and you were truly happy with what you are presently experiencing, then it's like, why are you here if you've divested from the black community? I mean, this is mostly. I don't know if you call your platform a black platform court. But I know most of your I, audience. I do. Okay, so I mean, this being a black platform. Well, I'm new. I'm like, new to her platform, and I love it so far. I love that she's able to have dialogue with other people with opposing views. So, so yeah. I, I guess my 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 question is: now that you are aware that it's a black platform, um, if you've divested from the black community, right? Like, what? Why are you here? Because she's a black woman. I'm pro black woman, and the divestment community is spreading to. To, to black women who were race loyal at one time. So the word is getting out, the memo is getting out. We're starting to understand the assignment and it's to recruit other black women. It's to get, not me per se, <laughs> but it's to get other black women to open their eyes and see you know, black love, the black community, everything for what it is. And yeah. to, you know, to undo what we've been taught um, what, about I black love, you know what I mean? And about, having to settle for the black struggle and, you know, having to deal with a group of men that, that are constantly berating you and, and telling you that you're not good enough. And even if you don't get educated. Struggle, and, Can I respond? I'm sorry. I Can said I being black isn't always a struggle. Like you just saying the black struggle, like. Yeah. That. In general, I'm speaking in general as a collector, we're, we're not going to be dis dishonest here. <laughs> I'm not being dishonest. Even saying in general, black again, like black people. Listen, black people are no different than anybody else. Correlation. Right. Well, why do you always do not, white supremacy and all that stuff? Because I don't. What? I have a different. If we're no different from anybody else, then why are we always telling white people that they have privilege and, and that they have this and because that? They do. You know what I mean? What if you, you just said we're no different from anybody else. No, you know what I mean? no, so you have no. to pick the struggle. You well, have I'm to pick. As far as relationship and interfacing, we're just like any other group of people. But there is a dynamic if you just. Well, white know. men don't do that to their women. Asian men don't do this to their women. They Mexican men don't do it. White they men are leaving doing. their women, going to Asian women. What are you talking about? Yeah, That's they don't true. get. They don't get on the the internet and berate their women. Yes, they do. That. And the white man is <laughs> not like that. Oh, no, when white men, when white men say they're, things listen, about women, listen, listen, <laughs> they I'm say women. We don't say white women. They just say listen, women. Listen, 
<laughs> there's a distinction because there's two manospheres. So obviously we're black. We say the black manosphere, the mainstream red pill manosphere that's white. They have the same talking points about their women. They don't this say is, white women. I never hear them say white women. You guys specifically they don't need have, to have the title. They, they don't they need to have, say it. They don't need every to say title, it. Every title, you black. guys say black women this, black women that. And every title of the Manosphere, if you look down their videos, you'll see everything is about black women, single moms, this and because that. I'm not a single mom, black but black I feel bad black. for single moms that... that think that they only have to deal with you guys. Like, well, the distinction, seriously. I just told you, there's two different manospheres. So to be clear, mm -hmm. the mainstream one that gets the, the more, was the white one. So now that this space has been created among black people, this is why black men use the black manosphere. Because if you just say manosphere, people could be like, which one are you talking about? There, it shouldn't be like that. It should be, aren't you guys men? Then just say women. I shouldn't have to pay just... taxes. There's a lot of stuff we shouldn't have to do. But yeah, I'm saying but you're you know, being intellectually reason. dishonest. What are you, you know, talking about? I just said there's me... two different ones. That's why there's a distinction. There's a black one and a white one. The white right. ones have the same talking points. It's implied that they're dealing with white women. They don't have yeah, to I'm say. I'm going to tell you why, conservative woman. I'm going to tell you the why. Here's the why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because. Um, when you are a member of the dominant society, meaning the the white majority in this country, that's about uh, 64 to 65 percent of the U.S. population, you don't mm -hmm. have to give a descriptor. Right. Because it's automatically assumed you're talking and referring to the majority of the people. Now, uh... when you, the, wait a minute, let me finish. The black manosphere came about because black men recognized that they were dealing with a different set of uh, some of the same uh, issues and many of the same issues. However, we also are a part of a subculture that is underneath the dominant American white culture. And so that is why they use the term black manosphere. It, it, it's, it's not anything that special or different is just that they wanted to recognize that there is a subculture underneath the dominant culture of of white america so that's the why but if you're referring to to women then they obviously know that you're talking about black women because each group is talking about their specific problems. Why would you bring up black women, this black women, that every other title of the video. And a lot of these guys are quote unquote dating other races of women. So why continue to uh, downgrade black women? So yeah, that's why I'm here because it's, I'm trying to uh, help other divested women realize that they're not alone or people that are sitting on the fence. Um, because the, it's growing, like I said. So yeah. we I'm need that to, support. You know what I mean? Me, let me get on my wallet. I know he wanted to say something, but let me also say something about the black manosphere. Majority of the time, we, we so I'm always adjacent, um, okay. don't use black women as black. We use modern women. Yeah, so majority modern in the black manosphere, it's not black woman, it's, it's modern. So we, we differentiate the, the modern women a lot of times from like traditional women. So the essence is going back traditional, not black women. I want you to be white women. So I want yeah, to clarify but, that too. We, the majority of the term that it's over here is modern, modern, modern. That's what you're going to hear. It's not always black, 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 black. Yeah. Well, I, I wasn't way. talking about you, but I was talking about it specific people that are yeah. just constantly. Well, I understand. I see that too. Black women. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I think I, I, I just think that the point that I was trying to make, um, and and I think that she validated my point, so I appreciate her mm -hmm. being honest. The the point that I was attempting to make is that uh, the divested community, um, whether it be black men or black women who are divesting from the community, um, a lot of it is fueled um, by trauma, uh, by by self hate, by feelings of neglect, and feeling of uh, feelings of rejection. Right. Um, she stated clearly that she's here to uh, re recruit. Right. So things that are of no, quality, not me per se. I cannot, I can I finish speaking. Yeah. Sorry. 
Yeah, I, I asked you, I asked her the question, um, if she's divested and why she's here. And she said, because she's for black women's empowerment and she's here to recruit black women who may be on the fence. And my, my reply to that is things that are, are of quality uh, don't require uh, commercials or recruitment, right? Harvard isn't coming to your local high school to recruit students because there's a, uh, there's a demand, right, to get into Harvard. You're not going to see a commercial for, for Bentleys, right? So, so why does SB, SSYSBM exist? Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. So the point that I'm trying to make, the reason why I'm saying that it's clearly rooted in self-hate, Asian women date out at a higher rate than any other group of women, but there is no movement of divested Asian women. And the reason why that is, is because the source of them dating out is not because they hate themselves or because it's trauma based. So my argument is that the folks who are often in this divestor movement um, have not healed. And I think that they want to kind of spread that pain. You know what I mean? Like, I think that when folks feel like <laughs> they have kind of like a, a, an ax to grind, like that's the purpose of being here. So it's the same reason why a lot of black men do it. It's like, nan, any boo boo, we got other options in other places. So fuck you, black bitches, right? That's kind of like the energy. And my apologies for cursing court, but I'm just saying the, the energy is the same. Um, it's it's childish energy. It's it's unhealed um, trauma. Um, and I think that when you look at the kind of like the disfigurement that we see um, on the screen, I think that that kind of like speaks for itself when, we, when we're talking about self hate. <laughs> I know, I had a question well, brother, for you, I know, brother Clarence had something to say as well. Um, you had a question for Pablo? Yeah, I had a question for not only Pablo, but conservative. I okay. think most of us here don't have a problem with you as a black woman dating white a white man. The problem that we're seeing is the reason why you're dating a white man. I think that is the what that is the major issue with, with most of us. So my question is, um, to Pablo or conservative black woman. Do you think the reason why somebody's dating someone is as well is is important? Don't you think that that, the, you know, not just because, oh, I want to date a white, like if I say I want to date a white woman, but what would be my reason? I'm I'm going to date white women just because I'm, I'm trying to show black women that I don't need them. But is no, that I date reason? other races of men, mainly white men, because those are the ones that really approach me. Um, but even though I've dated Asian, I've dated Arab, I've dated Latino, they, you know, I've never had a problem there. But the thing is, um, I date white guys because they're hot. Like you guys just want to be told that you're the only guys on the planet that black women are looking at. Like black women, we have options too. And you're constantly telling us, like they always say, where's Waldo? <laughs> Where's Waldo? Are you kidding me? I we see black women. Everybody guys. wants to be. Everybody wants to spend time with black women. That's that's not a question of whether you. Got and then you have black men saying that the, you know they're the most desired the, men on the planet, the but then they turn around and say that black women are the most undesired. So well, well, that that's statistically, but that that doesn't mean that that that's how we feel. Personal experience. Eighty percent well, of black men are married to black women. 83% of black men are married to black women. The marriageable black so, men, yes. The yeah, ones that right, are marriageable. Just like they're married to marriageable black women. You think all black women are marriageable? Just like all black men are not marriageable. That's what I think the issue is with what you're doing is if you saying, I'm not going to date white. Now, see, it's a difference. If that's your preference, uh, because that's visually your preference as white men, cool. That's the thing. But you're saying I'm going to date them because they ain't no good black men. That's the pro that's the issue that we have. Because there's good black men. you just finding the bad ones. And then you, you well, extrapolate. No, I haven't story. found any bad ones. Oh, let on, me on. let me say Can this. I answer the second part of that question? Hold on. Hold you on. asked me as well. Hold on one second, and I'll let you speak. And I want to be clear, too, because right. Brother Clarence, and I think a lot of people think this, too, it's not a factual thing that black women are just undesirable. It came from OK Cupid back in 2014. It was a dating site that said who got the quickest response time. Black women okay got the Cupid. slowest, right. Black women got the slowest <laughs> response time um, along with Asian men. And the fastest response times were, um, it was white men. And the next one was Mediterranean men. The two lowest was Asian men and it was black men. And this was just a response time. So again, this wasn't a national poll or a census. It did. It was okay, Cupid. But that's what they go but, by, but though. That's what they always bring up. 
this is yeah. the, this is the problem that we have with for me fresh and fit for me Cynthia mm -hmm. G, is that this is what it breeds and right. it makes it, but and it makes it okay so conservative black woman a lot of people are upset at what you have to say I understand it because some of it I'm just like the hell but however their space is for matter. this because we spew wrong information, wrong stats to make ourselves look horrible than what we are. And we're not. Right. Yes. Kevin we Samuel says there. that. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Th thank you. Right. Let, so, me, let me speak. I'm sorry. Um, so, again, that's why I, again, think it's important to have these conversations. But again, it's to let's let's be factual here. Black women mm -hmm. are not undesirable. Majority of black men want black women. You, but we're going off these like small, minute groups of people that are saying this and the Fresh and Fits and the Cynthia G's and making it like it's normal and it's not. Mm. And so that's why I got to be checked. Pablo. OK. Yeah. So um, I wanted to answer Brother Clarence's question. I, I did a video on my channel. Um, the Passport Bros, we're Alabama. We don't recruit. We don't have to recruit. So my particular, uh, my group of guys and our particular ideology is different than conservative black women. I'm not that familiar with the divestment uh, ideology of divested black women. I've heard of them, but I don't go over there. So I don't know what they, what they espouse. The, the, core, I was the, core, the core belief is that there are no black, good black men. That's the core belief. And that's what I'm saying. That's the that's the well. Core. No, we're trying to break the trauma bond uh, because most black women are are black male identified. So we're trying to like break that bond. That's know, but it's an erroneous. That's it's, what it's an about. erroneous belief. It's an erroneous thing because it's obviously there are good black men out there. So it's erroneous from the from the start. That's what but I'm, I'm saying. If you like black, I mean, I've heard like stuff men, about if you like white men from the beginning, <laughs> and you like white men from the beginning, and you find them attractive. That's cool. That's a different situation than I'm. I'm now because there's no good. I can't find a good black man, so therefore all black men are no good. Therefore, I'm going to date white men only. That's a different and psychological thing. That's we what have to break the at. trauma bond. That's what the divestment movement is about. It's about putting black women in the driver's seat of their own but fate and their own destiny gonna, when it comes to dating and marriage. You're going to go and pick Let bad me. white men too. It's the same. Yeah, yeah there's, like and it's the, the thing is with there. the increase with the increase of interracial dating between black women and white men, yes, you're going to hear more stories about white men killing their black wives because the numbers are going to increase. We're having more That's interaction, cool. more interaction with each other. So, right. but that, that does nothing. Girl. That's it's not in comparison. Bad people. You're not looking black at men kill bad, black women. Oh my God. People. At the most highest it's rate ever. No, no comparison. Well, hold on. Hold on. Yes, I mean, rap. you always... Yeah. Killings usually happen as far as close to proximity. proximity. Right. So that, that's not because black men are just a whore. I mean, white people, right. the majority of white people, like, we get that. Yeah, right? but just, so you know, me, being around a group of black men is, is could be dangerous. It, it could be. I'm sorry. No, it's not. Stop saying stuff like that. What it are you doing? It can be. I'm sorry. It, it's okay. dangerous. It can be. Were you in a jail or something? What are you talking about? If, if, if you look at uh, the stats on intimate partner violence, white women um, suffer more intimate partner violence in America than any other group of women. Well, I'm well, talking about well, homicides. Actually, well, more violent happen amongst lesbians. So it's not even the black men that are hurting women. <laughs> if you're in a lesbian relationship, you're more likely to get hurt, killed, you know, smacked, beat up. So they have the most. I I'm talking about violence. homicides, homicides, mm -hmm. you know, and if we're talking nobody about, talked about it. But during the holidays, like between Thanksgiving and Christmas, there were like seven murder suicides between black men and black women. It wasn't just that guy who killed those two nurses. It was other people besides him, other black men that nobody covered. But I looked it up and I was like, wow, I could not believe it. It was so many like. 
black women that lost their lives, no lost their lives over nobody, this. Right? White men aren't killing No, nobody. I didn't say they weren't either. Ah. Yes, there was a few sprinkled ah. in there. Ah. But this I'm saying. Okay, let me get, I want to hear Catherine as well. I haven't because, really yeah. had super bad experiences with black men. Well, I mean, we've all been molested as black women. We know that. I I was molested by black women when I was a kid, but I don't hold on to that because that's victimhood, right? So I don't let that define my life, but I'm talking about how black men are in general, how, you know, just unlearning everything that I've been taught about black love and black men and, 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 you know, having to be race loyal is keeping us stagnant. It's getting us nowhere. We need to close our legs and stop getting pregnant, you know, by different black men. I hate that shit too. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to dog out, Single mom. You know, the, pop, you know yeah. the problem with this. But I don't like that. Thing. I don't like, you know. The sad thing is, you come from black men. So you can never break the bond. Options. You can never break the bond from us because yeah. you come from us. So that idea of thinking in itself, mm -hmm. like that's like me trying to, I'll never escape the black woman. She is me. I'm her. We come from one another. So it's like, I don't know what you're getting at. Black people are God's DNA. 